This plant was designed to be both the most vertically integrated plant we've ever operated across the company, and also in many ways the most automated plant. And so we're really excited to see what that's gonna mean in terms of safety, quality, delivery, cost, um, as we continue to invest in the growth of this exciting new 100 series product line. One of the goals of our Goodyear project was to be able to have from start to finish uh, the complete operation related to our 100 series business. We did that to be able to maximize the efficiency of our supply chain, to make sure that everything that is under that roof is value added. That facility is gonna position us to really grow in the Western United States and to be able to better serve our customer needs there. We set out to build a world-class plant. To be competitive in delivery, you need a very integrated supply chain, one that can efficiently run product through, one without problems. And we knew that if we owned that, we could deliver it. So that's the big benefits of being able to put everything in one building and, and build it right from the beginning of extrusion all the way through shipment. Opus provided us a great piece of real estate through their real estate development. They provided us the architecture of how they would lay out multiple plants on the site all the way to building practices, uh, construction practices that were world-class. We brought together all of the different aspects of Opus, from design, construction, and real estate expertise to really collaborate uh, and to really listen to what Anderson's vision was. That, we spent a lot of time up front listening to what they had for a long-term plan for the site. In fact, when we got done with the project, they told us you know, that they had written down all of the criteria for this project, and when they came back, we checked each one of the boxes. And that's really a key um, testament to how our design team and our construction team really took the time to sit down to get to know the clients um, culture and their vision for what this facility and what this campus could be. Um, and, then, and then to collaborate with the internal Anderson team to deliver the project on time and on budget. It's an amazing facility. It turned out so cool. And when you approach the facility, when you walk through it, you feel the energy, the innovation, and the, the sense of, of openness and cohesiveness of, of the, the whole site and how it all flows together. We were able to incorporate a number of Anderson products into the design, which makes it a, a great showcase of our products for our customers. We were able to incorporate into the design of that facility some very you know, cutting edge amenities for our employees because all our employees do have different needs. We have everything from you know, mother's rooms, prayer rooms, meditation rooms. We have foot washing stations. It truly is a facility that speaks to the employees and demonstrates to the employees Anderson's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We were able to incorporate our new Anderson brand in the color scheme, bringing in lots of daylight and lots of color, showcasing our products. And you get that vibe as you walk up. I mean, even as you drive up to the facility, you, you, you feel the energy emanating from it. It fits into the environment, but it also has this pop, right, of, of I'm this presence, you know, this I'm here and I'm Anderson. From a design standpoint, I'm really pleased with how we were able to, uh, let's say, build upon the brand and reinforce Anderson. When you drive by that building, you know it's an Anderson building. Besides the fact that it says Anderson on the side, if you took that name away, because of their branding work in the community, it would be very clear what this building's doing. And I'm really proud of that. First and foremost, this needs to be a functional building. It has to work. It has to build upon itself as the uh, company decides how to deliver their product to the market. Outside of that, I'm really pleased with some of the details we were able to, let's say, customize to create a facility for Anderson. There's just so many things that Opus was able to build into this project that I think the employees that get to use that building, you know, during the duration of their career are really going to appreciate. We immersed ourselves in the Anderson process and we figured out what, uh, what was important to them and how things worked and how they could be improved. I think that's probably one of my favorite parts about this uh, work that we do is helping companies uh, plan for the future and grow into them. I think our uh, design build delivery method really shines in these highly complex projects. From the client's perspective, I think they really benefit from kind of a single voice, 
a single source. There's never any pointing fingers to an architect that might have missed something on the drawings or the builder missing something because we're all just one opus at the end of the day. The timeline for the project was, was very, very fast paced. 11 months to build the project from start to finish. It was really essential to have the construction design and development under one roof just because we needed to have a, a collaborative approach in order to deliver this project to the Anderson team within the time constraints that we were working within to make sure that they could be up and running when they needed to be. Their knowledge of Anderson, how we operate, what's important to us, our values, our vision, I think that you know paid dividends when we constructed or you know planned and designed and constructed this facility. Whether I was working with the developers, the interior designers, um, construction managers, even their site superintendents, you know every every individual throughout every aspect of their organization um, was focused on you know satisfying Anderson, and I think they you know they more than delivered on that. The project team at Opus that I worked with uh, was fantastic. They were so easy to work with and very good at uh, change management, always asking what we needed. The local contractors in Phoenix that they chose were very, very good to the point where we're still, now that we're in the building, I personally am still using them. Some of the, the unique aspects that are associated with this building that stick out in my mind is the, the scale of the mechanical equipment and the extrusion process that the Anderson team utilizes in this facility and the planning, the, the layout, the, the thought process that goes into actually constructing that portion of the project to me is, is very unique. We had equipment coming in from overseas that we wanted to try to get in the building as soon as possible. It was already in the state, so Opus was very good about allowing us to get in the building early, actually before it was even complete, working with the city of Goodyear to get the temporary occupancy permit so that we could do that. And then uh, finishing the building and working around us as we were already in the building. They never ever said no to anything on the first request. They would always listen to your request. They may come back and say, you probably don't wanna do this for X, Y, and Z reasons. But most of the time they would uh, take our request and say, yeah, we, we think we can do this. And th these are the options. With their building experience, they were very good at kind of telling us what you know could work and what probably we would want to steer away from. They had our best interest in mind always, from the leaders on down to the site superintendents to the foreman on, on site, um, all very respectable, very intelligent, uh, and very personable people. So for sure, I would recommend them. We wanted a world-class facility. We wanted speed. We wanted the facility to be something that the community could stand behind and recognize as our brand. And they delivered that. And so at the end of this project, when you have somebody you can trust because they've met all of your needs, it comes with a high recommendation. For us to have played a role in what we know is a big, a big move for Anderson is really exciting, and that's the most rewarding. Our mission statement is driven to exceed your expectations and empower your mission through the buildings we deliver. When we work with clients like Anderson, we, we really take that mission statement you know, quite literally. We realize that the work that our teams do uh, collectively, the work that we do with the client, really is more than just bricks and mortar. To play a part in that, to know that our involvement is really helping foster their culture and their growth, that's very rewarding to all of us at Opus. Well, I think anytime you go into the into a major um, facility expansion like this, you know your priority is to get it right, and uh, that means you've got to come in on budget. That means you have to come in on time, and that means that the facility, um, you know, has to achieve our objectives. Opus uh, is a very customer-facing organization. Um, they spent a lot of time listening, they were flexible, um, and they were always focused on the higher objective of meeting our needs. There was a spirit of partnership um, from the very beginning and all the way through the process, and it occurred at every level between organizations. They're just exceptional partners.